Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 30 in the NKJV for May 30th, 2023. The words of Agur, son of Jacob, his utterance. This man declared Ithiel to Ithiel and Ukal. Surely I am more stupid than any man, and do not have the understanding of a man. I neither learned wisdom, nor have the knowledge of the Holy One. Who has ascended into heaven, or descended? Who's gathered the wind in his fists? Who's bound the waters in a garment? Who's established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is his son's name, if you know? Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. Do not add to his works, lest he rebuke you, and you be found a liar. Two things I request of you. Deprive me not before I die. Remove falsehoods and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches, and feed me with the food allotted to me. Lest I be full and deny you, and say, Who's the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal, and profane the name of my God. Do not malign a servant to his master, lest he curse you, and you be found guilty. There is a generation that curses his father, and does not bless its mother. There is a generation that is pure in its own eyes, yet it is not washed from its filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are like swords, and whose fangs are like knives, to devour the poor off the earth, and the needy from among men. The leech has two daughters, give and give. There are three things that are never satisfied, four never say enough. The grave, the barren womb, the earth that is not satisfied with water, and the fire never says enough. The eye that mocks his father and scorns disobedience, sorry, scorns obedience to his mother, the ravens of the valley will pick it out, and the young eagles will eat it. There are three things which are too wonderful for me, yes, four which I do not understand. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent on a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of a sea, and the way of a man with a virgin. This is the way of an adulterous woman. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I've done no wickedness. For three things the earth is perturbed, yes, for four cannot bear up. For a servant when he reigns, a fool when he's filled with food, a hateful woman when she's married, and a maidservant who secedes her mistress. There are four things which are little on the earth, but they're exceedingly wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their food in the summer. The rock badgers are a feeble folk, yet they make their homes in the crags. The locusts have no king, yet they all advance in ranks. The spider skillfully grasps with its hands and is in king's palaces. There are three things which are majestic in pace, yes, four which are stately in walk. A lion, which is mighty among beasts, and does not turn away from any. A greyhound, a male goat also, and a king whose troops are with him. If you have foolish, been foolish in exalting yourself, or if you have devised evil, put a hand on your mouth. For as the churning of milk produces butter, and the wringing of the nose produces blood, so the forcing of wrath produces strife. 30 and 31, among my favorites, for sure. I mean, especially with boys now that I'm trying to raise, a lot of these things are kind of little nuggets of wisdom and proverbs that, you know, you want to impart. Been a whole month, I didn't do my word study, so I can admit fault. Greyhound or rooster? And then lizard or spider? I gotta do my homework. Sorry, fam head is pounding having a day been up early work work other job work third job work and i'm willing to work for whatever i'm given usually i try to be wise i try to hold out for the best deal but you can't wait for in my case a truck to break down right so i got base pay and apparently while i've been out and about the routes that I would normally been looking for dropped and people, somebody got a $288 route for probably four hours. Wow. You know, and somebody else got 172 for four hours, man. But I got my MRI tonight in a couple hours, actually. So probably couldn't have taken a five to nine. I wouldn't, I couldn't have taken it. Um, 
and I don't know, working hard all day, he's got my back acting up. But then again, maybe that will allow them to actually see something tonight because I'm not confident they will and neither was the person that ordered it, which just has me kind of feeling futile in this front. I just want to not hurt. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. I asked the lawyer what to do. Who's descended into heaven and descended? And then he ends with, what is his name and what is his son's name, if you know? What prompts this? You know, is this tradition uh, in the language? So I was listening to some lectures yesterday, one of which was about, um, oh, Jesus is an amalgamation. Well, no. If you speak Greek, and there are only so many conventions with which to say rise or awake, then any story in which somebody wakes or arises from the dead is going to sound a little similar but it doesn't mean the story is similar or necessarily shares the same elements anyway I digress what is this about though in Proverbs old old book asking about his son's name hmm? Hmm? it's worth worth looking into And it's funny how human nature, if we have too much, we tend to say that we did it. If we don't have enough, then we'll do something to get it. And then, you know, say, hey, I had no choice. And that's kind of what's here. It's like, look, people aren't going to starve, you know, uh, profane the name of the Lord. Uh, is it, no, it's somewhere else for a piece of bread. <clears throat> and um, survival instinct. What are you going to do? It doesn't make it right. But, you know, give me enough that I'm not in this situation. And don't give me so much that I can be proud. And then, man, 11 through 14. Like, jeez, it just sounds like our current generation. Has it always been this bad? Oh, man. Oh, scoop back. Oh, it's the middle. It's the middle of the day. I'm wearing sunglasses. Well, it's 5.30. It's still the middle of my day, and I'm yawning. I don't I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I don't know if I'll be able to drive tonight because it's not safe when I get stupid tired. So the lady's making me a pot of coffee right now and drink some of that, sit with the kids, go in the garden, and then head out to my MRI so I'm not late. You know, let me be like the ant. Nobody telling me what to do, just putting up things and taking care of business. It's a good example. The Rock Badgers. I like that. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I like high racks. I think that's a cool use of that word, or a, or a cool word for goat. But Rock Badgers. That's awesome. I need some rock badgers to eat the poison ivy out of my uh, spots in my yard and garden. But I don't want rock badgers. I don't want to keep them. Oh. Sorry, it's about that time for me. I can't sit still. Oh, so I need to get out and stretch and figure out what I can do with myself. I've been getting a lot of comments on these things, which is great. Yesterday, somebody commented, um, Matt, I think it was Matthew 11, 11. And that was about John the Baptist being like the greatest human ever born. And that would be greater than him in heaven. So I don't, I don't understand what that had to do with my video. Maybe it was a, some kind of rebuke. I've got to go back and listen to it. But I appreciate any comments, likes, responses that I get. So with that, be blessed and go with God.